hello guys welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you how to make chicken balls with melted cheese in the middle so what you're gonna need is one kilo of chicken minced chicken oil for deep frying a handful of chopped coriander leaves um, tablespoon of chili powder but that's optional if you can't handle the spice don't add it in and um, you need hot and spicy chicken fry mix but um, you can get the original one which isn't spicy you're gonna need um, two tablespoons of salt but that's your preference if you want to add less or more that's totally up to you you need one egg and um, you need one medium sliced leaf, um, uh, what do you call it now oh my god um, chopped up finely sliced medium onion oh my god you're gonna need about 60 70 cubed um, cheddar cheese cut up into tiny blocks like this and yeah so what I've done is I've already I wasn't planning on making the video so um, I've already added in the garlic the onion powder the egg the chicken mix and the um, chili powder and I've mixed it up so what I'm gonna do is add the onion in and the chopped coriander so let's get started so I'm gonna add in the onions and then about this much of the coriander leaves and then give it a good mix make sure to cover all of the mints so now that it's all mixed the mixture is ready and we're ready to make the ball so guys in, um, if you don't want to use any um, egg in this you can also add all-purpose flour a cup of all-purpose flour so the the meat don't fall apart so they stick together bind together so now all you're gonna need now is a cup of water to keep your hands moist so they don't, the, the meat doesn't stick into your hands so what you're gonna need is water like this in a little bowl and you're gonna just dip your hands in so the meat doesn't stick and then you're gonna take about a small portion like so in your hand and you make it into a ball If you made it into a ball, you make a in the middle, a little hole in the middle, so where the cheese goes, and you're gonna put the cheese in there, and then slowly close it up like so, and then carry on making the ball, turn it into a ball, so it's fully covered. You want it fully covered because um, you don't want any holes in there. So when you deep fry them, you don't want the cheese coming out. So there, there's, and you carry on. So every time, just dip your hands in the water. These are my kids' favorite. They absolutely love it. Of course, if you don't like cheese, you can just make the balls on their own. You don't have to add the. Or you can also. I prefer. I don't really. I'm not really a big fan of um, breadcrumbs. But you can also dip them in and cook, cover them in breadcrumbs and you get a crunchy one. But I personally, I don't like breadcrumbs, so I'm gonna leave that and keep it as it is. Now I've heated up the pan. I'm gonna add in quite a lot of oil to deep fry. About a litre I would say and let it heat up now that the oil has gone hot I hope I'm gonna put in the chicken balls 
and I'm gonna turn the heat to medium low because I want it slowly cooked so it gets fully cooked on the inside as well. They're already looking so good. This is another I and not I oh my, I'm sorry guys I keep coming up with the wrong words and I get oh, what do you call it? I can't, I can't even talk properly. Um for Ramadan to break the fast, this is another thing we give to, um we serve on the table. So sorry guys, I can't explain properly and I get stuck when I'm talking. I do practice what to say whilst doing it but nevertheless it doesn't get any better so you just have to bear with me. So you're going to find this round about maybe for about 7 minutes for it to be fully cooked. So with this size, with one kilo of uh, minced chicken, you can um, you can make for about seven to seven, um, about 50, uh, sixty to seventy balls. So it's quite a large amount. And if you can also part cook it, part uh, part fry it, and then leave it to cool, and then you can put it in the um, freezer as well. So. So ready to so when you do heat it up afterwards when you get out of the freezer and you heat it up it doesn't take as long and it's always there when you need it in a rush like unexpected guests coming so you've already got the mage so very ideal so now that as you can see they're full of cups so you then get the excess oil off on my kitchen towels mm -hmm. you see all oh, that oh my god that looks so good can you see all the melted cheese inside and there you go guys look at that enjoy if you like my um the food i make can you please share like and subscribe and until next time bye